Segreto. I'm an artist from Miami, Florida, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my work, um, where my inspiration comes from, and the bright colors that I like to use. I draw my inspiration a lot from the Miami culture and the lifestyle and the people. Um, behind me, this piece is called Hangover. I took inspiration after a weekend out, um, kind of pulling in all those colors, everything that becomes a little bit of blurry at night and blurrier the next morning. I love to paint about um, the chaos in society represented by the abstract colors um, and of course the bright colors. And then the black lines on top to juxtapose, uh, uh, you know, just kind of how we handle it as a, as like as a person and of course hangover the title says it all the face that you have the next morning after you have a little bit too much fun um this piece is great in any room to add color definitely a conversation starter and um we can all relate to maybe having one too many drinks one night um this piece over here is called vice it um depicts two people kissing the passion of a moment um, I also have another piece that has um, almost two people kissing. I like that moment of tension right between. This piece is, um, you know, when you're out and about, just being either somewhat random or, you know, whoever you are involved with, uh, that Miami um, lifestyle. I know a lot of people say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but what happens in Miami stays in Miami. Um, and both pieces are, of course, um, inspired by that culture and this piece is called beach not to be mistaken with the other word um, it is the classic sun goer on miami beach um, enjoying the day people watching again i like to draw that all those colors come together in the background kind of meshing that abstract with um, you know a solid figure in the front kind of incorporating the colors which represent chaos um, with the outline of what we make of it. Um, this, this woman just looks like she's having a great time. It's meant to brighten up any, um, any space and it makes people smile. So these are two of my favorite pieces of the collection, um, confetti. This piece is called 1925 Fruit. It is inspired by the Great Gatsby. Um, 1925 is actually when the Great Gatsby was published. Um, one of my all-time favorite novels. And it really talks about in the last year and a half, two years, it's been a big struggle. And I want people to remember the small moments and just like celebrate, celebrate the small moments. Um, celebrating with a glass of champagne, that cheers moments, the nice crisp glass. The colors are representative of a party um, and being out in the bow, definitely some Miami and a little bit of New York inspiration of that pop of explosion. This one is called Fizz and it has a lot more burst to the color. Just that pop of that champagne bottle also aligned with the 1925 brew. Um, the colors were meant to explode, kind of like a champagne bottle when you shake it up and it goes everywhere. Um, you can see the strokes go outwards. And of course the colors that represent um, a fun time. Um, I think that bright colors make people smile. The work is meant to be enjoyed, just like a glass of champagne. Um, and it's really representative of my personality and my style of work. I love using color. I love painting about people, what they like to do, um, and really memor memorializing those good times.